Hi, it's Fiona Masterson from the Learning Reservoir. In this short video, I'm going to explain to you what a device history record is and a device master record as per their definitions in the quality system regulation. Within part M, it states that you have to have a device master record. Well, what is that? What well, a device master record means the gathering of all the records containing the procedures and specifications for a finished device. In the regulation, it states that each manufacturer shall maintain device master records and each manufacturer shall ensure that each device master record is prepared and approved in accordance with A20.40. And A20.40 is our document controls requirement within 21 CFR A20. And what it's saying there basically is that they want you to have your device master records that will contain procedures and specifications that relates to finished device and those procedures and specifications must be written in accordance with the requirements within a 20.40. The DMR for each type of device shall include or refer to the location of the following our device specifications, our production process specifications, our quality assurance procedures and specifications, our packaging and labeling specifications, our installation, maintenance and servicing specifications, all those um, procedures and specifications that relate to the finished, de finished device is what forms your device master record and a medical device manufacturing facility has to have that in place. So our device history record, well what is it? Well device history record means a, a gathering again of records containing the production history of a finished device. It states in the regulation that each manufacturer shall maintain device history records and each manufacturer shall establish and maintain procedures to ensure that the GHRs for each batch, lot or unit are maintained to demonstrate the device is manufactured in accordance with the device master record and the requirements of the part. In other words, what it's stating there is that your device history record comes after your device mas master record. Your device should have been uh, manufactured in accordance with the procedures and specifications that are in your device master record. And out of that will come your evidence that has occurred and that will be found in your device history record. The device history record shall include or refer to the location of the following information, the dates of manufacture, the quantity manufactured, the quantity released for distribution, the acceptance re records which demonstrate the device is manufactured in accordance with the DMR, the primary identification label and labeling used for each production unit, and any unique device identifier or universal product code, and any other device identification and control number used. So all those documents to, re to describe how your device was manufactured. So let's take a moment to refresh. What is the difference between a device master record and device history record? Well, the DMR and device history are two distinct sets of documents. It's important to remember that, that are required to be maintained by medical device manufacturers. The DMR, the device master record, is a confirmation of records containing the design specifications and manufacturing procedures for a particular device. On the other hand, the DHR is a record of the production history of each unit. So all the information necessary for manufacturing the design product is found in the DMR. And out of that comes our DHR. And the DHR is a record, record of the production history of each unit of medical device. And the DHR represents the production process of medical device and must demonstrate the fulfillment of the device master record. And that concludes this short video. If you liked it, please give us a like. And if you want similar content, please consider subscribing to our channel.